But flutamide is a drug that's used in rheumatology and with autoimmune diseases. Today, we're gonna to be talking about all the facts we need to know about the flutamide. It's Dr. Micah Yu, board certified integrative rheumatologist. And today we're going to be focusing on the flutamide, also known as Arava. The flutamide is another drug that's similar to methotrexate and it can be used in rheumatoid arthritis, psoriatic arthritis, juvenile idiopathic arthritis, lupus, vasculitis, dermatomyositis, among many other diseases. So the flutamide works by stopping a particular enzyme, really important in DNA synthesis and rapidly dividing cells. Through this mechanism, it can decrease inflammation in patients. I like to prescribe leflunomide because I have seen my patients improve in particular with their army symptoms and also arthritis. It's one of the first line treatments that we use for rheumatoid arthritis and psoriatic arthritis. Of course, not every patient will get better with this drug, but there's a chance that it can help tremendously, which is why I use it in my patients. The dosing for leflunomide is typically at 10 milligrams starting and then moving on to 20 milligrams if the 10 milligrams doesn't work. And when we start this medication, there are side effects that we need to be aware of. So we do check liver enzymes about a couple weeks to a month after starting this medication. This medication is taken orally and it could take up to four to six weeks for it to work. And we may not see the maximum benefit until three to six months in of taking this medication. And there are side effects that you absolutely have to know. And they can include nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, liver toxicity. So we always check the livers periodically when patients are taking this medication and make sure those liver enzymes don't go up. We want it to come down. Hair loss can also happen as well with leflunomide. This is really important. You cannot get pregnant on this medication because it can attack the fetus. It can be very disruptive for fetal growth. So being pregnant or planning to be pregnant is actually a contraindication for taking this medication. The flutamide can last many months in the body because the lifelong is very long. It is two weeks. So if a patient tells us that they plan to get pregnant soon, then we do what's called a cholestyramine washout, where we give this medication called cholestyramine and it will help remove the flutamide quicker out of the body. Along with the potential side effects that I just talked about, there is another side effect that you need to be aware of, and that's increased risk of infection because leflumide does suppress the immune system. So you need to be aware of that. But of course, it's not as strong as some of the biologics that we have on the market, such as Humira, Embro, among the other many different biologics. And because it can affect the liver, patients do need to be aware that if there are medications that they're taking that can affect the liver as well, we need to be aware of the drug-drug interaction and be very careful. So please talk to your doctor if you're about to take leflutamide so that they can know what other drugs you're taking as well. And also be aware that with leflutamide, you can actually have a lower white blood cell count and that's called leukopenia. So if you start seeing lower white blood cell counts on your labs, it could be a sign that leflutamide is affecting that. And the only way to treat it is to stop taking the medications. Now, leflunomide can be combined with other medications in rheumatology. You can combine it with sulfasalazine, Plaquenil, and some doctors even combine it with methotrexate. And the reason why we don't do that all the time is because methotrexate can affect the liver, so can Plaquenil. So some doctors are more careful in combining these two medications. But overall, we can do something called triple therapy for arthritis and other diseases, where you combine sulfasalazine, leflunomide, and Plaquenil together. And also, leflumide can be combined with other biologics such as Humira, Embryo, Actemra, and other medications that are similar. So rheumatologists do this all the time. And you're probably asking the question, can I ever get off this drug? It is possible if you're doing really well and your doctor believes that you can go down on the dosage. Typically by tapering off medications like leflumide, if you're on 20 milligrams, you can just go down 10 milligrams at the guidance of your doctor and then go from there. So I want to hear from you. What's your experience with leflunomide? Did you have any side effects? Did you find it helpful? And what situation did you take it for? I prescribe it 
in my clinic and I do find it helpful. So if you learned something and you like this video, please comment below, hit the like button, and please hit the subscribe button so you can keep following my channel and continue supporting my growth to help patients in this space. I'll see you guys next time.